Dear Lithuanian families, Welcome to our farmhouse. You know our farmhouse already, and now it's again time that we give a message to you, to Lithuania, to your joint camp of finished academy courses in Lithuania. We are very happy that we can use this media to get connection to you, but of course we are very sad that we cannot be with you in your country. You know the story of your government, they mistrust us, they think if we are dangerous we bring these small uh, viruses to Lithuania. So we talk on trust today, pedagogy of trust. Uh, Yesterday we gave an introduction to your camp. And Sister Doria gave an introduction to your camp. And she mentioned three topics, gratitude, trust, and that you can be sure on the victory of God. Uh, if we try to listen to messages from God during the last period, we think that trust is the main topic. We think God wants us to show the importance of trust. So we think it's a good theme for the camp. This red line or golden line through the camp, trust. Uh, before we start uh, and try to explain the view and the teaching of Pastor Kentenich, we'll show you an experience of us and this is negative. We start with a negative example. Uh, yesterday we showed us our neighbors, very nice neighbors, they passed uh, behind us and so we trust uh, in these neighbors that they know what is their ground to eat and what is our ground. And like the grass to eat. <laughs> and as you can see, our neighbors have broken our trust. So we are very disappointed on our neighbors. So we learn, we can learn, trust can be broken. But despite this negative experience, we start with the same pedagogy of trust in teaching of Father Kentenich. And it is based also on your experience, on our experiences. When we hear trust, so perhaps we have two reactions in our mind. And one reaction we just told is, uh, Mistrust. Oh, trust can be broken. Oh, it's dangerous. Trust is more control, more control, not so much trust. So the danger of trust. And the other experience, Eva shows. Jesus tells us, trust in me. You can trust in me in, in every situation. So he has a, the ability to give us trust also in difficult situations and his trust will never be broken. Two months ago we, we had a question to you and uh, because of this question Ivan and Marius collected your questions to Father Kentenich. And one of the questions was, uh, what about Holy Spirit? What is the teaching of Father Kentenich on Holy Spirit? How does it act and how can we get this uh, graces, the gifts of Holy Spirit. We know uh, Holy Spirit has uh, seven gifts for human beings and we can now, in answering the question of teaching on Holy Spirit, only take out one of those gifts and we have chosen the gift of fortitude. We also call it gift of strength. And to explain this uh, gift in teaching of Father Kentenich, uh, we read a, a few sentences of him. For Holy Spirit, this gift is an important building block for building a firm, healthy and strong life personality. The divine power and strength, like God, is eternal and knows no limits and signs of, of fatigue like our strength and power. So this gift of Holy Spirit 
gives uh, humans a strong personality, a healthy and strong personality. Father Cantonich calls people who seem holistic, closed personalities. The other human beings then usually find that an authority radiates from such personalities, from which one can be influenced without fear. This is the experience we also call the free man. So, people who get this uh, gift of Holy Spirit can influence other people without that they get fear, without fearing. And uh, they can be seen as free persons, free men, free women. Uh, this is only a short explanation. We want to give examples. Uh, so the example which show that uh, the gift, gift of strength, this gift of Holy Spirit, can human beings transmit to others. One example from Father Kentenich and then other examples from, from us, from you. Uh, it was First World War. A young man had to go to army. He was on the way to the Kesern and uh, he met Father Kentenich and said, oh, I'm so desperate when I now come to Kesern. Uh, I will, I will drink, I will drink wine and then I will be drinking. I cannot bear it uh, another way. Was again, the Knecht did not react, they walked uh, in direction to railway station and then there was a point where they said goodbye and was again, the Knecht understood, mm. I would try it without wine. No more no explanation, no more pressure, only I would try it without wine. <clears throat> and then, after a few days, he got a message of this young man and said, yeah, I could manage it without wine and now I, I feel strong and, and I feel free. So this is applying pedagogy of trust. So trust makes it possible to transmit the strengths, the strengths of the personality of Father Kentenich to others. And now we look for our own examples, our examples, your examples. Some years ago we had a meeting with alumni of Academy of a course who finished five years ago and we had a lecture. And after the lecture we got a feedback. When you came to our house seven years ago, you trusted us. We were surprised. We never told them so. So, something is an academy. We don't tell on it. We don't mention that we trust. But the people feel trust. So we don't talk on trust. And we don't reflect it. But they experience trust. So we said, ah, we have to observe, we have to investigate. And when we observed the couple, we noticed our trust helped them to grow. And then we continued to start investigation. In what way do we transmit trust? It is important, but how we do it? Uh, another observation, perhaps it helps us uh, to, in this investigation, we visited the family. We visited a family. They were planting apple trees. There was a large area for a lot of apple trees. The problem, the soil was like a desert. It cannot keep water. And this couple made a big hole, put in clay and then good soil in this hole. And so, in this way, the trees can grow. And now we understand. The trust we give couples in the academy is like a good soil. We don't talk on good soil, but we give them good soil to grow. 
And trust is a matter between persons. Trust is a matter between persons. In Cantonese Academy, we learn to trust each other and also in our teacher. Uh, we show you an example now how uh, couples in the academy trust their teacher. Yeah, you see, uh, in academy and also in, in our whole life, we have to learn to trust and uh, we have to learn a lot of things and also to trust. And how do we learn trust? We learn trusting by trusting. Just do it. And uh, it's not so easy. And there's a most uh, difficult problem in trusting. And what is the most difficult problem in practicing trust? So it's, a, so, so it, it's a question no, to the people. Ah, let's okay. let him answer. Are you, you have, a, have an answer? So no, tell it. <laughs> so that we trust in ourselves. And we, we know our weakness and we cannot defeat those weakness. This is always the same. And we have no progress in our self-education. It's really difficult. But Sister Daria, you know, yesterday she invited us to come to Schoenstatt next year. Uh, she repeats this invitation just now and she invites us in the shrine of Holy Mary, in the original shrine in Schoenstatt, and uh, she can really help us. So it's very helpful what she tells us. But Mary tells you, that's not important. I see more than you see in yourself. I see all the gold in your heart. You even don't see by yourself. I see what is so valued in you. You are a piece of gold. I'm very happy to welcome you here in this place. So this couple experienced in academy trust in the teacher, trust in Father Kentenich. So perhaps it's a good uh, occasion that we uh, listen Father Kentenich more, what he tells on developments in society. So it was very early, in 1950, he wrote, first again, he wrote a report in United States on the situation of United States, and he mentioned that there's a development to a so-called fatherless society. Uh -huh. Fatherless society, and this is, is a big danger. And it's a danger that the father gets lost in society, and uh, what is the danger? If father is lost, if father is not present as a good father, it is difficult to experience uh, later when children are adult that God is a loving father. So uh, he said it's, it's, a, it's a really big danger in development of society and, and not a good trend. And uh, he said Schoenstatt now has a task to install a, a trend against this trend. And this trend is to strengthen fathers. Before we talk on in what way we can uh, work against this trend, uh, more observations. We had the possibility to make a lecture of pedagogy of trust in Vilnius in the little house where uh, Sister Faustine had her apparition of Jesus. And after this lecture, the people said, I did not get trust at home. I didn't experience trust. And after another lecture, we talked on life of Father Kentenich. In the talks, it turned out that 
Most people did not experience a loving father. So we notice there's a real problem. Very little experience of loving father, very little experience of fathers who are real present in their family. And now, this trend against the trend. Uh, in this group, there was one couple uh, who gave a testimony, and we show a short part of this testimony in, in a few seconds. And this testimony was very encouraging for us. We were, we were very happy. And many people who listened to this testimony said, yes, this is what we need. And the testimony is a Lithuanian man who ha had no positive experience with his own father. And he worked abroad in Germany. And he lived in a German family and they experienced something he did not know before a relation in family. And he decided, when I go back, I want to become also a father like I have seen here in this family. Okay, so this is a, a good decision, but and uh, he had trust to himself to manage it, but there was another thing very important, and this was that his wife trusted him that he could be a good father. And this was decisive. This was most important, this trust of the wife. And this trust of his wife enabled him to be a good father, which was his desire. Uh, so we look to this, uh, to this short testimony and then we continue. What does it mean to get trust from your wife? Pavyzdžiui, mano meikystė Dievo nebuvo gyvenos mama ir smučiai. Šeimoje vyras, mano patyjas atsirado, kai man buvo dešimt metų. Tai buvo kitų vietų, buvo kolio vietų ir jis į mano autorimą nesikišo. Dievo neturėjimas buvo labai skaudos. Ir pirma patirtis, kas tai yra Dievas ir Tėviškis santykiai, pajutau tik, kai teko išvažiuoti jūsienį, laikinai pagyventi vieną šeimoje, kurioje buvo ir Dievas ir seniavėje. Ir būdant to šeimoje, pajutau, kas tai yra dviržkas padrasinimas, kas tai yra Tėviškas rūpestis. Buvau apie 30 metų amžiaus ir taip pat jau pagartai gyvenime. The principle we see now is uh, trust is a source of strength. Trust is a source of strength. Uh, and what is important uh, that we consider, as Sister Teria just explained a few minutes ago, we get the trust from God. Uh, and she told that uh, Holy Mary gives us the trust of God. When God trusts us and we feel that he trusts us, that he likes us like we are, because he, he, he made us. Uh, when, we, when we feel this trust, we get the strength of God. And this is uh, the most important source and this is the most important uh, teaching of Father Cantonese. If you trust like a child to God, he gives you the trust of the loving father. And in this case, the woman in relation to her husband, she gave the trust of God to her husband and he could, be, could become a good father because of the trust of God to the wife. And the wife gave this trust to, to the husband. So this is a principle of uh, pedagogy of trust. We need, so we need to be sure that God trusts in us, and then we are strong. So we 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 study since many years uh, pedagogy of trust, and we noticed some examples. Uh, trust is a good soil, and it helps fruits. 
to grow, to become good fruits. Uh, by the way, the apple trees, uh, we, last time we visited this family, we have eaten apple trees from those apples in this very bad soil. We have eaten apples, not apple trees. Ah, so Eva told us that we have eaten apples, no apple trees. <laughs> So, so we uh, we continue studies, and uh, uh, three years ago we heard a lecture of Father Erhard in Memhelt, Germany, and he talked about trust, and uh, he mentioned a very dramatic event, which happened in those days, uh, a few weeks before. It was a terroristic attack in Munich. So there were three. Uh, different attacks, a lot of dead people and, uh, yeah, and panic. So a lot of people died and people fled from those places who were these attacks and they tried to get away, but there was no public transport, they could not go, to, go away. And the police say, you will leave the, leave the streets, so go away, but they had no possibility. And in this moment, the doors of the house is open. And the people could go in the houses. Strange people go in strange houses and they were welcomed. And there was on the one side the fear that not being able to trust those people who made the attacks. On the other side was the trust of other people. And this trust of the others helped to overcome the fear. And this is a very important principle, uh, Father Kentenich tells us that trust in God, the trust we get from Jesus, for example, most of Jesus, that the trust helps us to overcome fear. And the trust of God is stronger than, than any fear. The trust in God is uh, very strong and uh, we can observe it uh, on examples. For example, Father Kentenich in concentration camp Dachau. He was able in this uh, situation to support other prisoners and he, give, he gave them uh, orientation and hope. And his strength uh, was coming from the, his relation to God. He trusted in God and God trusted in him. And so he could gives his strength to the others. We are now in a, a situation where this trust we have in Father Kentenich is attacked and uh, on Friday we want to tell more on, on this. Uh, we want to mention one man in, in South America, a priest, who wrote an, an article and the headline, the title was I know whom I trust. So this is a question, whom do I trust? Uh, perhaps also a question for your couple talk after this uh, speech and for a discussion. We trust, we know whom we trust. And uh, we want to mention a speech of uh, Pope John Paul II, which he held in 1985, it was 100th birthday of Father Kentenich, and uh, I tell it now in my words, uh, he said, uh, you should follow your founder, and if you follow your founder, it's like a track uh, which goes heavenwards, a track to, to your personal sanctity, or in other words, trust your founder, it's a way to heaven. Father Kentenich uh, told us that uh, the fatherless society is a real danger for the future of uh, human society. He wants to set a trend in this way that he wants to help men and women to be father and mother, real father and mother. Uh, in, in this uh, being father and mother, we should be images of God, Father, and images of Holy Mary. 
This was also what Father Kendrick always tried to do, to be a father to other people. And he wanted to show it to other people, so that they could feel that he's really a father. And his intention was that by his help of his fatherhood, he was an image of the love of God. So by his personal attention and love to people, he wanted to show God loves you. He wanted to be the image of the loving Father. And by this way, people lead to the Heavenly Father. We show you now a testimony of a sister. She is about 90 years old and she talks on her impressions on Father Kentenich in this respect. The following conversations, Father Kentenich continued to listen Per atėmą kitus pokmusų susitikimus, tėvas Kentinikas ir toliau manęs klausėsi. And he made me, through his own person, or through his own approach, he made me aware that I'm a beloved spiritual child of his. Jis man leido patirti, kad aš esu jo milima, dvasinė, Jo mylimas dvasinis vaikas. Jā. Atėlį, o tai vandė tų... What happened is that he treated us as beloved children of God. Jis į mus žiūrėjo kaip mylimus dievo vaikus. Jā. And what the consequence was... Ir kokie to buvo pasiekmė? That... One got a new feeling of life, I usually call it. A new life feeling. Iš to kilo didžiulis toks naujas gyvenimo jausmas, naujo gyvenimo jausmas. He calls it something like a rebirth. Tai galima pavadinti tokiu atgimimu, atgimimas. You became more happy. Taip davai laimingesnis. More courageous. Trasesnis. More daring. Daugiau drįstantis. More independent of other people. Taip pat mažiau priklausomas nuo kitų žmonių. In the beginning of this short lecture, we talked on disappointment. We showed the example that we are disappointed on our neighbors. They didn't respect our borderline. So one cow came to our the our grass and ate our grass. We wanted to eat. Oh, no, we don't. Hmm. Uh, and this is part of trusting. This is part of human life that we get disappointments. And Father Kendrick tells that God, by intention, uh, installed these disappointments because these disappointments are like a staircase to his heart. Disappointments lead us uh, like on a stair to the heart of God. And Vasek Hendrik also explains in what we, in last consequence, should trust. And in last consequence, we trust to let what God gave into the person. He says also the divine spark. We trust in the divine spark, which is in this person. And this divine spark cannot disappoint us. When we finish now, uh, we can summarize that trust is the source of strength. And this strength is the strength of God. And this strength of God overcomes all our problems and overcomes our fear. And, yeah, now we finish, and it's your time. And uh, so we give the advice that you use this time to do some steps to, to build up this trust, the trust in your spouse, the trust in yourself, the trust in other families, and as a consequence, the trust in God. So. The way you could do it is uh, to uh, 
look for the gifts. What gifts did we get last day or last month or last year? What gifts did we get from God? And now it's nice to observe, perhaps we got gifts from God by our spouse or by other families, other people. Or we got gifts by Father Kentenich during our time in the academy or during our meetings with other families. We got gifts from God by means of Father Kentenich. So now it's your time. You can collect those gifts. And what we hope and what we wish uh, is for this time and for the whole weekend that after the weekend you increase your trust, that you have increased your trust in yourself, in your wife, in your husband, and in other families, and in Fasa Kentenich, and in last consequence, especially the trust in God and the trust in Holy Mary. Thank you for your attention. We wish you a very nice day, a very nice sharing of experiences, and yeah, relax a little bit. It should be also a holiday for you, and we will meet tomorrow again. Bye. Goodbye.